Hey family, it's Getty Diesel here. Coming with a word, happy Sunday to you. Sunday sermon. God gave me a word today. God gave me a word today. He said, I am going to restore what the devil tried to take. I am going to restore what the devil took from you. All that that was lost, that was that was taken, that was stolen from you, that's been broken in your life, God's saying, I'm going to restore it. See, the devil wants to keep you discouraged. He wants to make you think you're defeated right now. We have a real enemy. Some might be saying, why are you blaming the devil? What's the devil got to, why are you keep, you're, you're putting it all on the devil? But we have a real enemy. The word warns us that we have an enemy, a spiritual enemy. We do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against spiritual principalities and power like Satan, who's evil, who's dark, who wants to destroy everything great in your life. He wants to destroy you and, and, and all the greatness that you hold within you. He wants to destroy what God has purposed and destined for your life. He wants you to miss out on the greatness and the promises of the God who loves you so much that he gave you a chance at this life. See, the devil wants to mess you up and stir you up and discourage you right now. He's trying to get you in self-pity and sorrow and, and thinking that, oh, you know, you, you just, you lost too much. You're too, you're too broken. You messed up too many times. You made too many mistakes. You, you've fallen too far. And I'm here to remind you today. This is a word, guys. This is a word that God is going to restore everything that the, that the enemy tried to rob from you. And that's a promise. That's a promise. Because like I said, he's trying to keep so many discouraged because he knows what God is doing. He knows what God's about to even do on a larger scale. See, the enemy was thinking that he he had one over on people and God and that 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 he's he's been doing all this damage and ruining all these lives and, and that the devil might even thought that he had an upper hand. Look at all this evil and wickedness that I've created, and God is saying no. All that evil and wickedness that you created, Satan, I am going to turn around. I am going to use the bad for good. I am going to restore the broken and the lost things. What has, has, been, has been stolen. What has been robbed and stolen. Because Satan wants to steal things like your joy. He wants to steal things like our joy and give us misery. He wants to steal... Um, the goodness of relationships in our lives. He wants to steal the position that God has placed us in. He wants to steal our love and our perseverance in, in, in all, all the great things that God has, has put into our realm. And he doesn't have that power because God is going to restore that. God is going to restore what the enemy has tried to, to, to destroy, and there is going to be a turnaround. Don't lose faith. Don't lose hope. You may feel discouraged right now, but you need to realize that God is going to restore. Press into that. I encourage you to press into that, to pray into that. Pray for God to restore what was stolen. Pray for the restoration of things that were lost. This, this enemy that we have that tries to come and steal, kill, and destroy. That's what the Bible says, right? The devil has come to steal, kill, and destroy. So the devil is trying to stir things up. He wants to make you think that he's won and you lost and then that, that there's no hope for you. But I'm here to say that there is hope. There is hope for you. It's it's not too it's not too too gone, too, not too far gone for you. You are not too lost to have restoration in Jesus Christ and 
what a blessing it is to, to know that, to think about that, to, to just meditate on those promises. I want to encourage you today that God is going to restore what was broken. God is going to restore what was stolen from you. God is going to restore what has been lost. God bless you. Stay encouraged, family. Do not give up. God bless you.